Hi, this is Steam, and welcome to Jackass. What up, vapers? Welcome back to Steam Room. Today we've got a pretty cool video that I've been looking forward to doing for quite some time. It's been in my to-do list, been sitting on my desk for a while. We have the LP Grand Mod from REOS Mods. Now they claim this thing is indestructible. I thought we'd bring it to a warehouse today and find out exactly how indestructible it is. So let's destroy some shit. Okay, forklift test. Torture test, baby! More than likely, one of the most common ways you're gonna break your mod if you're carrying it around and using it in your day-to-day -day life is you're gonna have it in your pocket. So if you pull it out and it falls out, what will happen? But we're gonna find out what happens with this one. So no significant damage dropping it out of the pocket. I don't even see a scratch on this thing. So as you've seen up close, there was no significant damage, not even a scratch on this thing dropping it out of the pocket. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it over here to the table and give it a good drop because, let's face it, when you're at the vape shop, uh, you're at work, anywhere where there would be a counter, it'd be likely that you would drop it there. So we're gonna test that out next. Okay, so we are rather limited with space here, but this looks about the height of a counter. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this off of here and see how it fares. So as you may have noticed, there was no significant damage done on that drop. I'm quite happy about that because it was a little bit of a loud thud. Okay, for the next test, I'm just gonna drop it from my shoulder height, but I'm gonna take a step back and do this. So hopefully you guys can catch it in frame. I'm gonna pick it back up, come up close and show it to you up close and personal to see if there's any significant damage. The last drop there appears to be no scratches. There's nothing wrong with this mod at all. So far their claims are standing true. So I'm gonna back up. So as you can see, other than a little bit of dirt, this thing is completely unfazed and unharmed. There does seem to be a little bit of a, let me see if I can show you guys this real quick. So there was a little bit of damage done to the top. I don't know what you would call that uh, little box that goes around the 510 connection, but there's a little bit of a scratch on it. Other than that, this box is completely unfazed. So we're going to the next test before our ultimate, ultimate warehouse torture test that will be the forklift, but we're gonna jump up here on the ladder and give it a good drop and see how it fares. Kids, don't try to stay home. Fuck. Get out of here. Shut up. I don't have a whole lot of hopes for this. This is pretty insane right here. If for any reason you're ever on top of a house and you decide to drop this shit two stories, that would be the equivalent of what I'm about to do with this mod. REOS mods, I'm sorry, but we gotta put this thing through a serious torture test. So here we go. Three, two, one. That sounded pretty solid. Back didn't even come off. I gotta say, I'm pretty damn impressed with this thing. It's not broke yet. I'm talking to you guys too, but there's somebody operating the camera right now. Ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. It's all good. It's crazy. I'm just gonna let the suspense build for the last one. For the last torture test. They're probably gonna see it on the damn thumbnail, because once there's a forklift in the picture, people are gonna be like, oh shit, it's coming up. Okay. 
No, seriously though, we gotta wait on this fucker because he went down to Bojangles to get. To get what? What? His what? He's back? He's back already? Ooh, it's time to do this. Why is the camera so low? I feel like I'm standing over this bitch. Hey! Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get to that final torture test, guys. Let me go track this guy down. He's probably eating his food right now. It is lunchtime. I'm sacrificing my lunch for this, guys. Real talk. See you in a minute. Okay, forklift test. Torture test, baby. Oh, I heard some noises. I heard some noises, baby. That motherfucker broke. I'm almost guaranteeing it. I see some juice. Oh yeah, definitely crushed. Damn, it's dented in that motherfucker too. Whew. Damn. Well, it's not completely indestructible, is it? It looks pretty decent. We gotta see if it still works. Now, had this thing had a battery in it, it would have been destroyed. As you can see, Brandon here, my lovely assistant, <laughs> is attempting to bust this sucker open with a prying device, but it definitely would not have survived a steamroller. It didn't survive this steamroller, Ha ha ha. Kidding. Totally, totally fucking cheesy, but whatever. I will give it this. There's probably a replacement for the battery door that you can buy. I believe you can actually because they're colored and it is a custom company. So the rest of the box mod looks like it's in really good condition. What do you think, Brandon? Yeah. You ain't, fuck it, up, you ain't fuck it up too bad. You didn't fuck it up too bad. All right, I'm gonna have to ask you to forgive your boy. Your boy was stinking. I had to come home, get cleaned up, a little bit shaved, and I'm growing a little bit of peach fuzz back, whatever. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but the one thing you guys are probably most interested in is to see if this thing even works. So we're gonna go ahead and toss a battery in it. Now, obviously, I don't recommend using the box mod without this plate. Uh, it's for your safety as well, but uh, yeah, it's a tough little son of a bitch. We're gonna see if it still works. All right, so we got a battery in here. We got an RDA on here. This is a squonk mod, so I've got it connected to the bottle here, which surprisingly enough, the bottle did not suffer any kind of real damage. I mean, it got ran over by a damn forklift, guys. A forklift, okay? Now that would crush you or me, but this box mod somehow is still alive. So let's go ahead and get it out of the lock position. I think it's still locked. We're gonna see if this thing still fires. <laughs> okay, okay, Rios Mods, Rios Mods, I, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the company name, but holy shit, this LP Grand Mod is, I gotta give it, man, this is a Rambo Award, I have to give it a Rambo Award, everybody round of fucking applause for this thing, oh my god, I don't know how this thing is still working, it's still rocking. Still chucking, still chucking, insane. That is just insane, right? Definitely worth the value. If you guys wanna go pick one of these up, I'll make sure to drop it in the pinned comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to make. I wanna give a big shout out to Brandon and to uh, Phil and to Youngblood, AKA Allen down at Movex for all of this, um, for being participating in the, in the video and uh, Boss Man and all of them for being cool with me doing it. In the future, companies, if you guys wanna send me more than one device to test the durability, I will absolutely be willing to do so. This has been a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Cloud salute. That's just fucking crazy, right? That's just crazy. Ain't none of this shit promise, ain't none of this promise. And I
none of this shit promise, ain't none of this promise. And none of this shit certain, ain't none of it certain. Ain't none of this shit promised, ain't none of this.